I don't hate it, but it needs to be clean, and I hate the taste of jizz. <laughs> Women of Reddit, what are your honest opinions on giving BJs? How much do you actually enjoy giving them? Welcome back my bro, so good to see you again. If we haven't met yet, I'm Andrew your narrator. Since you're already here, why not like the video, subscribe and hit the bell button. If you do, I'll give you a free Big Mac. Hope you did that, anyways let's start the stories. It's like cooking. Sometimes I really enjoy putting in the effort and will go the extra mile. Maybe spice things up with a lime or two. But other days it's like duck bro just do it yourself, there's pizza in the freezer. It 100% depends on my mood. Like if I'm feeling it then I'm going hard, slobbing, deep throating, having a great time. If I'm not then it's just like ugh my mouth is only so deep, can you come already? I enjoy pleasing my partner, I like having that control over his pleasure. But the act itself I seriously dislike. I hate gagging, I hate having it in my mouth, and I hate how much hard work it is controlling gag reflexes, tongue placement, use of lips, pace and rhythm, the taste, the texture, the messiness, trying to breathe, strain on the jaw, and constantly reminding myself to watch the teeth. Insert cliché SATC quote here. Honey, they don't call it a job for nothing. I didn't like it at all at first, it was just gross in my opinion. The smell, the taste, how much work it is. Then I got a new boyfriend. That's the point where I realized why I didn't like it. Wash your dick guys. Now, I just love it. His facial expressions when I hit the right spot, the little moans that he tries to keep in and his trembling legs. Nothing hotter than that. As a gay man I've learned two things reading these comments. 1. Straight women like sucking dick more than us gays usually give them credit for. However, the main compliant seems to be tired jaws. A tip for this is to focus less on creating tons of suction and more on using your tongue, as it's both less tiring and tends to be what most men like more anyway. 2. Straight men need to get better at washing their dicks to get more blowjobs. It's okay. It's not my favorite thing, the gagging is a bit crap, but I never minded it. But it definitely is more fun when the guy is able to do both orgasm from a BJ and then get hard again afterwards for sex. Unfortunately a lot of guys when they get older, it's one or the other. It's not so much fun if after the BJ that's the end of proceedings. Lot of 21 year old guys reading this think it'll never happen to them cause right now that thing bounces back like a wobble toy, but son I got news for you. I like it, especially the first part where it's all soft and squishy, and you can fit the whole thing in your mouth, and it's like pleasantly soft bubblegum. Then when you can feel it getting bigger and firmer and finally pop. Right out the mouth. Not a big fan of the end bit where you really have to buckle down and get results. Unless he's moaning and oh god, if he's moaning, and encouraging you and you are too g-ether on this project, holy duck that's magical. Don't like it but it's not because I think it's gross or something. I would love to be able to do that for my boyfriend, but my mouth is just entirely too ducking small. It hurts my jaw pretty bad after a literal minute because I just can't comfortably fit it in, which makes it twice as hard to keep my teeth off of it. He says he doesn't like it anyways, but that's probably largely because of the incompatibility between his dick size and my mouth size, considering I'm the only person he's ever done anything with to form that opinion. I think I'd like it a lot more if it didn't hurt, t-h-o-u-g-h and he'd probably like it more too, I'd imagine. I do know that even if it did fit I could never swallow, the texture of the stuff is just so off to me, and I have a thing w certain textures making me vomit. I enjoy it, but it depends on the guy and my mood, and typically more is foreplay. Smaller to average men are more enjoyable to have in my mouth. Also it may be because he was uncircumcised, but my last boyfriend was much easier to get off with oral. My current boyfriend and other guys I've given blowjobs to, needed a lot of suction, at a steady rhythm, for quite some time which is really difficult and becomes painful after a while. Given that and the fact that it makes me mad horny, I enjoy starting with oral, but then I want to get ducked. I generally like it, I think it depends on the guy's reaction and our communication though. If a dude starts ramming my head down on his dick, no, I'm not having fun. 
For partners that communicate and tell me what they like and want and let me go for it, yeah I'll do it all the time. Edit. I did not expect this to blow up like it did, so thank you wonderful internet people. I have a personal policy that they get one warning not to push my head down, and if they do it again we're done permanently. I actually like giving head if we're in the mood, I love watching their reaction and enjoyment. But you can still be respectful, I don't have to do it. A to thank god the men in real life have better morals than the dudes here, I've gotten more crap on this comment than I have in real life. I am sticking your dick in my mouth the least you can do is not intentionally try to choke me. Rip my inbox. Edit 3 to the guy who said I'm probably not even hot enough to have guys want me to go down on them, and I'm conceited for thinking anyone would want that, thanks for the hysterical laugh first thing in the morning. I needed that after some of the dumpster fire comments on here. I'm glad twatwaffles like you have higher standards and don't want me anywhere near your dick, I'm fine with that. I'm generally not a fan. It makes my eyes water and my nose run. Sometimes it tastes kind of bad. I generally start gagging and feel like I'm going to throw up after a bit. I'm most down to do it when I'm drunk, but that's also when the fear of throwing up is the worst. That said, I'll reciprocate, and I'll even initiate blow jobs sometimes, especially when drunk. But the only thing I like about giving them is the reaction from the guy. One of my great tragedies in life was growing up and coming to realize that women aren't even remotely as in love with male genitalia as I am with theirs. Took a decade of awkwardness with my wife before she was able to admit how awful she felt about it and how guilty that feeling made her, since I absolutely love going down on her and how generally fascinated and enamored I am with vaginas in general. But for her it just felt weird, hurt her jaw, and made her feel pretty grossed out in anticipation of possible ejaculations. Once she admitted that it felt like an unpleasant and gross task, I never let her get near there again, and had to reprogram my mind to abandon fantasies about it. Edit. To all you folks losing your crap and thinking this something terrible and sad, it's not. Stop messaging me or giving me red pill bullcrap or even wheel meaning advice. I've been through so much terrible crap in my life that I'm truly blessed to be with the woman I love who is my best friend in the world, and we get to spend every day together talking, playing games and making plans. There are greater things in the world than blowjobs. I like giving them now because my soul likes it, it also helps that I've given enough of them to be confident that I'm not doing a terrible job. I was never too keen on giving them in new relationships or during hookups because I was self-conscious about my skills and I find them extremely intimate. I would be more comfortable having sex with a guy before I would give him a BJ. I agree with you. It was a worry about skill but also a feeling of physical vulnerability. Like, that's my face. It requires way more trust than piv sex for me. I'm bi and don't feel the same way about going down on a woman. I mean it's still intimate, but it doesn't feel like scary to do with someone I don't necessarily trust as much, probably because it's so external, not possible to choke me etc. And not just safety but also vulnerability in terms of looking ugly bad stupid. I think this is because suck my dick is an insult and people act like giving head is degrading, like a man is dominating a woman in a humiliating way when he gets a BJ from her. That stuck with me a long time and I wanted to be the kind of woman who loved giving, but it took a trusting, loving, extremely patient relationship to actually get through that hangup, instead of having intense anxiety about feeling ugly and degraded by giving a BJ. Probably didn't help that my first boyfriend tried to pressure me into it literally by whining and calling me a killjoy. Edit. To be clear I do not find BJ's degrading in my relationship because my husband respects me as an equal, treats me well, is patient and loving and kind, and worked through it with me without pressuring me in the slightest, and we love pleasuring each other. Consensual degradation through BDSM is a different story, but speaking in terms of just regular vanilla sex, especially for people just coming of age. I think it's really harmful that BJs are treated like they're degrading and a power move by default, because it's really gross when you don't want to be degraded and don't consent to be degraded, but people treat you that way anyway, just because you are female. Edit, as usual I kind of regret making a comment that gets a lot of upvotes, because I'm getting a lot of really disgusting replies to this. 
If you feel the need to tell me why it's a good thing BJs are degrading or insult me or other women who have hang-ups due to anxiety, shame, and or trauma, then you're literally the problem. Thanks for watching. What did you think of the story time? Let me know in the comments below. If you liked the video smash that like button and subscribe so you don't miss any more story times.